If you really want to get good at demand planning as a supply chain leader, there are three main practices you need to put in place. The first one is to see demand planning as an information game, as insight driven. You want your team to collect as many data, information, insights about demand and your clients. You can think as things such as promotion, prices, point of sales data, sellouts, inventory located at your client and so on. So you want to get all these insights when you're going to forecast demand. The second step you need to put in place is to use something I like to call an automated bulletproof machine learning system. Bulletproof means that you want machine learning to be able to deal with any situation. If you have a promotion, you want it to be aware of that. If you launch a new product, you want machine learning to be able to cope with that. Automation means that it should automatically run for every single product you have every single week or every single month without anyone touching it. So this should be as streamlined as possible. Finally, the third key practice you want to implement is called forecast value added. It means that you're going to track in your demand planning process the added value of each step to ensure that everyone touching the forecast is adding value to it.